Alright, so in this video I'm going to do the review of this uh, basic companion Mora knife from uh, Mora Knife or Mora Knife. I have no idea how you say that or how they pronounce it. And this one is in fluorescent green. Well, that's not fluorescent, but it's a uh, flashy green. And that's perfect. Um, it, to compare it with this uh, Laplander, which is famously known, well, we've lost two of these doing all this work. We've done all this, and we've lost two of these, and it's very hard to find. Now, this one is going to be a lot easier to find again in nature, but it's harder to lose. So let's move that aside and let's have a look at this. Well, the reason I um, discovered the uh, Morin knives is because I bought it with something else and then um, I looked at this knife as a kind of basic thing with little interest. But then, uh, since it was inexpensive, I started using it for uh, minier tasks, for harder tasks, which I wouldn't have, wouldn't have liked to uh, uh, use my uh, favorite knives on and what happened is after a few weeks it started being my favorite tool for most things and I discarded my other knives basically my uh, uh, more expensive knives and then started to use only a Mora and I discovered that I liked the uh, practicality of it and I like the fact that the fact that it's a workhouse a workhorse sorry and I just liked it. And I despised the sheath at the very beginning because it's a plastic sheath and what's more exciting than a leather sheath? But this sheath is actually quite good and you've got this to attach it to your belt. It would be a bit difficult on a more um, bag but it's still fine. You can put it on um, your shirt using this hole, right, and different systems. So. Um, it's kind of nice, so, so you have a hole at the end which makes it easier for the knife to uh, um, get dry. And also it's stainless steel, so it doesn't, this one actually uh, doesn't fear water too much. Okay, so let's have a look at it. You've got something to push. Right, that was a B. Okay, so I'm left-handed. That's typically meant for someone who's right-handed. Right, yeah, definitely. That's for right-handed people. Everything is for right-handed people these days. So let's have a look at this. So this is a stainless steel, um, fairly, um, well, not, I wouldn't say thin, but it's not the bigger one you can find with a Scandinavian grind, which is very nice to carve wood and which is very easy to uh, maintain. And it's stainless steel. And you've got plastic injected, injected um, mold here and it's got a rubber on top so it's more comfortable and it doesn't well your hand stays put on this and here you've got something to protect your finger so that's comfortable to use even for my small hand and I would be comfortable letting my son use this despite his age I don't think it's recommended but whatever and so let's have a look at what you can do with this My conclusion about this is if you're on a budget, that's the perfect knife. Perfect outdoor knife, perfect everyday tasks. That's my go to knife for everything. Now, if you're not on a budget, that's really still to consider. I mean, that's, that knife really is my favorite. That I really love it. And I use it for many, many things. Maybe you've seen other videos, other reviews where I use it, or another one. I really love that knife. That's a very solid, very reliable one. 
and I don't think anyone can be disappointed with this. It's really, really a nice, nice knife. So as you can see, Hitch, the colors show well if you plant it on the ground while you're doing work. You can still find it because of the colors. 